Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Yes, I'm back in my office. <laughs> it is stormy today in Chicago and it is so dark and Jay actually has a photo shoot happening and he needed his light. So I'm back in my natural lit office, as much light as I can get in these windows. It works. It works for this video anyway, because I'm just gonna be sitting here talking about my Hoya collection. And I have recently added eight Hoya to my already pretty big Hoya collection. I mean, big in my sense of big, because I know other people that collect Hoyas and they have well over 50 Hoyas, but I have 19. I believe. So I was so excited to add these to my collection. Margarita Hoya over on Instagram. I'm going to link her name at the bottom of the screen and she'll also be, um, there will be a link to her Instagram page in the description below. She has been so easy to work with these past couple of months. I placed an order for these new Hoya I'm about to show you. Back in the beginning of February, it was very cold in Chicago. <laughs> I decided to, to give it a try and give it a go after seeing my good friend Adam do an unboxing from her and I was just uh, so excited. I asked her to hold them for me until it got a little warmer in Chicago. It got warmer in Chicago, but then the pandemic happened. So customs was, I'm not sure if they still are. They didn't to this order specifically, but they were spraying down boxes with like disinfectant. And I was very worried about it. She was very worried about it. So we decided to hold off until she got a better gauge at what was happening at the border and, and at customs. And we decided to give it a go. I got these just two days ago and they were in a box from Russia to Chicago for two weeks. <laughs> we were both pretty terrified. Needless to say, these plants all came in absolute perfect condition. I am so excited to get them potted up. I think that they've had time to acclimate a little bit to my house. So I'm gonna be potting them up here in the next few days. And I wanted to show you exactly how she packaged them and how they came. And if you're interested in Hoyas, you can just go ahead and place an order with her. This video is not sponsored, by the way. Uh, let's start with this beauty right here. This first one I got is called the Helwigiana. Helwigiana. You guys know how I am with names. So I'm going to try my hardest, but I'm also going to show you the name. So there's the name right there. And I'll also link the name of these Hoya in the description below so you can see them. And this is Little Miss Hoya. Look at how absolutely perfect these leaves are. And I love these little cups that she sends them in because you can actually see the roots through these cups. And I'm assuming she might grow them in here. Like, I'm, I'm not 100% certain, but that's what it looks like because some of them, you can see the roots in the bottom like they'd been in here for a while. And I just think that this is really cool. And there is a little tiny, tiny, I don't know if you can see it, hole right there so for watering purposes it has proper drainage and then she labels them and she puts this little tissue on top so no soil falls anywhere i mean it was just so easy to unbox this box i'm actually going to insert a picture right here of how i opened the box and what it looked like inside and it was just so clean and so easy and she used um, tissue paper which is very easily recyclable and i plan on using it if i ship out some plants in a plant swap but it was just, all in all, it was just so easy to unbox these. And I just thought this was so cute. So I wanted to leave these in here to show you guys. So that's the first one I got. This is the Eldrichii, Eldrichii. There's a the name. I love how this new leaf is slightly lighter than these other older, darker leaves. Very, very hearty, thick leaves. It even has a little vine happening there. Look at that. I'm just so excited to see these grow and get big. Another reason I love ordering from her is because these plants are so tiny that all I need is just a tiny little four inch pot. I'm gonna put all these in LECA, by the way. And I love watching small, immature plants become mature plants. It's just, you know, when you have a hand in something growing, you just feel so much more accomplished. You know? The next one 
is this other one that is also vining. This is the Feticii. There's the name there. And look at this. I mean, how gorgeous is that? Look at these markings on the leaves. So stunning. Ugh. I just absolutely love it. And I love when they vine out like this. It's so perfect. I love it. I'm trying to see which one I want to show next. This one is the Finlaysonii Longleaf version. There's the name. <laughs> Excited to show it to you. Look at these leaves, y'all. I mean, slight variegation. You can see these markings are just incredible. It's like light and super dark green. Look at that. And they are fuzzy. They don't appear fuzzy, but they are fuzzy. So if you're a leaf petter, although I have another one that's even fuzzier. All right, let's get into that one. <laughs> this is the Velosa longleaf form. You guys, let's show you the name first. Oh my goodness. Look at those ripples. And it's completely fuzzy. I don't, you can't really tell on camera, but. Oh. And look at this growth point. I mean, the size too. It's a pretty good size. I'm excited about this one. This one I had to have. Here is second to last. This is the Carnosa Stardust. There's the name there. And look at the markings on this Carnosa Stardust. I mean, how incredible is that? It almost has like a gray variegation. Oh, it's so unbelievably beautiful. This is the newest leaf. The waxy texture of these leaves, just incredible. Actually, that's not the newest leaf. This is the newest leaf. Can you see that? The little baby there. Stop focusing on my face. Oh, it's just so beautiful. I am so excited. I don't have any plants that have quite variegation quite like this. I mean, it's just one more look. How pretty is that? My favorite of the eight is also a fuzzy boy. My Carnosa Grey Ghost. Grey Ghost. I mean, look at these leaves. Oh, it's appearing a little bit more green on camera, but these are like damn near all gray. It is so, so pretty. There's like speckles of dark green in there. Oh. And the leaves are, they're big. They're pretty big. I am just so excited. There's another little growth point on there and the roots on this guy are just incredible. I mean, definitely ready to come out of this container. I'm really happy with this order, you guys. So happy. Editing Nicole here. I totally forgot one. This is the Marab... Marab... Marabolus? Marabolus Splash. And she sent this to me for free. I'm not using my camera. I'm using my phone. So it's like less quality, but cute. If you like what you see again, I will leave her Instagram link in the description below. She's not an e-commerce site. It's more so just DM her on Instagram or message her. And then you can tell her which ones that you'd like. She has all of her Hoyas listed in her feed and um, she'll tell you the prices and you pay through PayPal and it's just so easy. You do have to pay for a Fido sanitary certificate, obviously with shipping through customs, but um, I wanna say it's maybe 35 bucks for that. So um, just be expecting that if you place an order. And that is all for my Hoya haul. Now let's get into the rest of my Hoya collection. Okay, I'm gonna start with my basic gal. She's basic, but she's pretty. My Hoya Carnosa. And um, let's see, I think only two of these Three of these are in soil. The rest are all in LECA, which is fun because I actually have one Hoya that is the same type of Hoya, 
one is potted in soil and one is potted in LECA. So it's cool to see them grow and, and what they like better and how they do. Um, but with this one, I can't really tell because both of them are growing really well. <laughs> so this is my Hoya Carnosa. And these are the newest leaves on it. It is just, they're so waxy. I absolutely love this plant. This was probably maybe five or six leaves when I got it. It put out all this new growth and I've had this plant for about a year now. So this was the start of my Hoya addiction. <laughs> it's really not an addiction, um, but my Hoya collecting rather. This is my Hoya Crimson Princess. This is in Lekka. I think it's time to get this out of this tiny little container and into a bigger container. Let's check the roots. Oh my God. <gasps> Look at these roots, you guys. Holy wow. Can you see that? Oh yeah. Time for a bigger pot. This is a cutting I got from Lyra Loves Leaves over on Instagram and I was water propagating it. And look at that root system. Like, whoa, those are some thick roots. So I think that this is ready to be potted up. So I think I'm gonna put this with that one in a bigger pot. And I mean, just how gorgeous is that? Ugh. Uh, let's see, what else do I have here? Hmm, what should we go to? This one is my Hoya Tricolor. Look at a couple of these all white leaves and these have these have been on this plant for quite some time and I'm wondering because the newest leaves have like split variegation so I don't think that there's like anything wrong with the plant but like how crazy is that that they're all white I just think that that's so cool I have this in a glass container with rocks at the bottom and water right up to the bottom of this net pot. This is actually just an old nursery pot that I use as a net pot. Isn't that cool? So I can kind of see the water. I put the stone in for decoration just because, I don't know, it looks plain with just water. My next one is my Hoya Shepardii. And there is a couple different cuttings in this pot. One cutting I got from Pam over at Pam's Pretty Plants. And the other one I believe I got from no, I can't remember. But I've had this plant for about a year as well, minus that cutting I got from Pam. But it's doing so well. It's starting to cascade over the pot. I'm wondering if I should get like a trellis for this one too, if I just let it hang. I kind of like how it looks hanging over the pot. I love this plant. It's so cool. The elongated leaves just, I think are so unique. This little guy over here is my Hoya Bilobata and it needs some water, so don't judge. As soon as I give it some water, it's gonna perk back up. But this is my Hoya Bilobata. It's a little sad, just a little, but I also like how this one kind of cascades down. You can trellis it up, but I like it. I just, um, Drop this. <clears throat> Moving on, this is my Hoya Bertine, and I got this cutting from Lyra Loves Leaves as well, and I have it potted up in Lekka, and it's doing really well, super happy. It's very, it's got a very long vine there, but these leaves are so cute. They almost remind me of silver dollar leaves, but not as circular, and they're fuzzy. So pretty. I love this plant. This was the plant that I had. I'm not sure if you guys remember, but I had it propagating in water and it bloomed a couple months ago in water in multiple different spots. Like here's a little peduncle here. Um, there's one here. There's one here. Like at the most prettiest pinkish purplish flowers oh my gosh and that was my first toy i ever got to flower like in my my care which is crazy next up and i'm not gonna be able to pronounce this name is the hoya numuleotis numuleotis there work with that this is an, an entirely too big container but this is the only one that i had and it's doing pretty well in here this has the tiniest, thickest leaves on this plant, but I think it's just so cool. I love it. And it's growing some aerial roots down by the LECA. 
This will be a nice plant to trail up because it's stiff, like the vines are very stiff. So it would look really nice like on a trellis. Okay, this one's not potted up yet, but this is my Hoya Curtisii. It's got a little fuzz on it. And this I had water propagating, look at those roots. So I think it's about time to get it in a small LECA container. But look at these gorgeous, gorgeous markings on these leaves. This one has a little sun stress, which I think is pretty. And then look at these, oh my gosh, they're so cool. I love the markings on these and I love how tiny the leaves are too. Curtisii. This is my Hoya Retusa. I got this from Not Dude, my friend over in Arizona. You know who he is. I have it in a mug. I wanted to write the name on here, but I never got around to it. So I just put a label in here. But this is a very cool plant. It looks like grass or like a weed, which again, I like the wonky ones. So uh, yeah, this is one of my favorites. And it's doing really well. And this actually had a bloom on it too. That's right, this did bloom too. It was a really tiny one. I think it was white flowers. I love this one. This is on my front shelf kind of like hangs over the shelf. It's gotten big since he gave it to me too. Like this is a new growth point here. It wasn't hanging that low when I brought it home. Now we have this also bloomed for me, but it was sent to me with a bloom on it from Lyra Loves Leaves. So I can't really take credit for that. <laughs> this is my variegated Hoya Hindu rope or Hoya Compacta. And look at the variegation in there. It's so pretty. There is a leaf back here that is like, it has a whole bunch of white in it. Can you see that? Oh, so pretty. It's such a hardy, thick plant. This one's in soil, um, but see the peduncle right there? That's where the, that's where the bloom was. And it was so pretty and it smelled gorgeous. But yeah, I love this plant. I keep it high up in a window it's really happy. And you can kind of tell when these need water or with most Hoya, they'll get a little crinkly. But with these compacts, it's kind of hard to tell, but they'll still get a little like indentation telling you that they're ready for water, like they crinkle up. Now we have Hoya pubicalyx. And my Hoya pubicalyx, ooh, I have a Hoya pubical pubicalyx in Lekka and I have one in soil and I want to show them both to you. This one's in soil and that's a whole new vine right there and then it's trailing down here and then this one is in Lekka and I just think, look at these vines. Oh my gosh, it doesn't fit on camera. I just think that these are just the prettiest plants. Look at the markings on there. So pretty. Yeah, can you focus? Thank you. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? When the new leaves come in, they come in this deep, deep purple because it's uh, Hoya Pubocalyx purple Hawaiian, actually, from what I've been told. And then they change to this like deep green. So gorgeous. I absolutely love it. So I really can't tell like which one is happier because they're both doing really well. So I don't know. Now my last one is it the last one? Yeah, my last one. Wow, we're almost done. My last one, and I'm gonna insert a little video clip here for you to see, is my Hoya Australis. I bought this a few months ago when I went plant shopping over at Plant Shop Chicago, and it has grown so much. I wrap it around the sides of my shelf, and I just think it's so, so pretty. And when I was repotting it, I actually lost a piece and I recently rooted it up and it's ready to go to be repotted. Look at this long vine. Isn't that gorgeous? And it has growth points on it. So I know it's going to get more leaves. And I wanted to end this video by saying I'm going to give this away. So I am really excited to give this to someone who wants it. So if you're the first person in the comment section below to comment that you want this Hoya Australis cutting, rooted, um, send me a message, just put it in the comments that you want it and include your Instagram handle or your email address and I will reach out to you to grab your address to send it to your house. Sound good? I'm excited. I've been kind of going through all of my plants and seeing what plants still bring me joy, 
what plants don't. And I'm starting to come to the conclusion that I'm ready to start chopping and propping some plants and sending some off, some plants that are getting like too unruly and are growing like crazy. Um, and some plants that I just don't care to have in my collection anymore to make room for new plants. So I'm definitely going to be doing a video soon about possibly doing a giveaway. So look for that. I'm excited and I'll probably post about it on Instagram too. But anyways, guys, that's it. This was my full Hoya collection and Hoya haul. I'm so excited to do this video. I've been waiting a long time to do this video because I wanted to get my order in before I did it. <laughs> So thank you so much for watching straight through to the end. If you liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, please feel free to hit that subscribe button. If you're new here, welcome. And I appreciate you being here. And if you have any suggestions for other videos, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. I see this all the time. I love hearing your suggestions. And sometimes, you know, us creators get a little creator's block. So it's been a little difficult during this whole uh, pandemic period to, to create. It's just been difficult. I hope everybody is doing well, and I will see you in my next one. Bye. It could be yours.